66 million years ago, a single moment changed life on Earth forever. An object the size of a mountain slammed into our planet and wiped out 75% of all living species. But what really happened that day? And could it happen again? Welcome to my channel. Before the impact, life teemed across our planet. Towering dinosaurs roamed the land. Giant marine reptiles dominated the oceans. Flying reptiles soared overhead. But above their heads something was coming. Something they couldn't see, and it was coming fast. This is the story of the late Cretaceous and the beginning of the end. The year is 66 million years old. Our story begins in the forests of the Northern Hemisphere where Tyrannosaurus stalks its prey. Tyrannosaurus was a true monster of the Cretaceous, with jaws that could exert a bite force of more than 12,800 kilograms. It was the apex predator of its time. Tyrannosaurus was king. As a Tyrannosaur patrols its domain, a herd of Triceratops grazed peacefully in the undergrowth. These three-horned giants were the last of the Ceratopsians, a diverse group of herbivorous dinosaurs that had flourished for over 100 million years. Like other horned dinosaurs, Triceratops was well equipped for defense with a large neck frill and three imposing horns on its head. Meanwhile, in the skies above, flying reptiles such as Quetzal Coatless soar effortlessly on thermal currents. These magnificent creatures had wings spanning up to 12 meters and could glide for hours on end without expending much energy. They were the perfect predators for a Cretaceous sky, and in the depths of the ocean, Mosasaurs reigned supreme. These gigantic marine reptiles were the apex predators of the inland sea, a vast body of water that stretched from the Gulf of Mexico to the Arctic Ocean with teeth as long as human hands. Mosasaurs could easily make quick work of any prey that dared enter their domain. From the smallest insects to the largest dinosaurs, life was abundant on Earth during the late Cretaceous. But above their heads, something was hurtling towards the planet that would soon change everything. The object that struck the Earth 66 million years ago was an asteroid or comet, but scientists are still debating which one. It was around 10 to 12 kilometers wide, about the size of Mount Everest. Today this behemoth left a permanent scar on the face of our planet. The impact created the Chicxulub Crater, which is now partially submerged in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. But it's the aftermath of the impact that truly makes this event so significant. When the object slammed into the Earth, the energy released was more than a billion times greater than the Hiroshima atomic bomb. Everything within a thousand kilometers of the impact site was completely vaporized. Massive shock waves circled the globe multiple times, generating earthquakes of unimaginable force. But it gets even worse. Within hours, mega tsunamis surged across the oceans, reaching heights of over 100 meters. These colossal waves wiped out everything in their path, leaving behind only destruction and death. But the real killer wasn't the impact itself, it was what followed. Within days, soot, ash, and sulfur were launched into the stratosphere, blocking sunlight and plunging the planet into darkness. For months or maybe even years, photosynthesis ground to a halt. Plants withered and died, leading to the collapse of the food chain. Herbivores starved, then predators followed. Global temperatures plummeted as much as 5 degrees Celsius, triggering an ice age. Acid rain poisoned the oceans and wiped out marine life. Within a few years, 75% of all plant and animal species were extinct. Dinosaurs, birds, flying reptiles, marine reptiles, and even many mammals disappeared forever. Only a few lucky species survived, hiding in burrows, underwater, or simply by being small and adaptable, like early mammals and birds. What happened 66 million years ago was undoubtedly one of the most devastating events in the history of our planet. But life, as we know it today, would not have been possible without it. The mass extinction paved the way for new species to evolve and diversify, eventually leading to the emergence of humans. You're probably thinking this must never happen again, right? Wrong. Although impacts from space are rare, they are not unique to our planet. Earth is still vulnerable to asteroid impacts, and NASA actively tracks thousands of near-Earth objects that could potentially pose a threat. One such object is 2023 DW, which passed within just 31,000 kilometers of Earth's surface in February 2023. While this asteroid is not considered dangerous at this time, it is a reminder of the constant bombardment our planet faces from outer space. Another recent example is the Selyabinsk meteor, which exploded over Russia in 2013, injuring over 1,000 people and causing an estimated $33 million in damage. Although relatively small, this event was the largest recorded meteor airburst in modern history. Of course, these are just two examples of the many asteroids and comets that have impacted or passed close to Earth in recent years. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory currently tracks over 27,000 near-Earth asteroids, with over 10,000 considered potentially hazardous. It's important to note that while some asteroids pose a genuine threat, the vast majority do not. NASA regularly assesses the risk posed by near-Earth objects and has developed plans to deflect asteroids away from the planet if necessary. For example, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test Dart mission successfully demonstrated the feasibility of asteroid deflection in September 2022. 
by crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid. NASA was able to alter its trajectory, providing valuable data that could be used in the event of a real asteroid threat. Despite the efforts of organizations like NASA, it's impossible to completely rule out the possibility of a catastrophic impact event occurring in the future. Some scientists estimate that a large asteroid impact occurs on average every 1 million years, although the actual frequency is unknown. It's also worth noting that even smaller impacts can have significant consequences. For example, the Chicxulub asteroid, which caused the extinction of the dinosaurs, was estimated to be only 6 to 9 kilometers wide. In conclusion, while it may seem comforting to think that an asteroid impact is a thing of the past, the reality is that our planet will continue to face threats from outer space for as long as it exists. From small meteor showers to potentially hazardous asteroids, we must remain vigilant and prepared for whatever the universe may throw our way. Just because we've survived this far doesn't mean we're safe, so let's hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. What do you think? Could we survive a second impact event? What would you do if you knew an asteroid was hurtling toward Earth? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We bring you the most amazing stories about dinosaurs, ancient fossils, archaeological finds, and everything else that sparks our curiosity about the world around us. Thanks for watching.